Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from May the 6th up to the 12th of May 2018 and this is for you coming from Aries. So let's start, I'm sorry, this is for you coming from Virgo, not from Aries, sorry. Now, let's start with the 6th Sunday and that's a horrible 6th Sunday morning afternoon period waiting for you. Difficulties with whoever you are, bad news comes your way. You say the wrong things and do the wrong things and even if others do that, you are the victim. And so be careful with whoever you are with. Let others take charge. Don't want to in any way antagonize anybody with your words or with your actions. If you can do all this, then be out and about. Otherwise, just stay home. Don't be the spoiler because you're going to say or do things that's going to make others not happy with you. Evening and nightfall period becomes extremely good. Now you become very lucky. Unexpected good news waits for you. Solutions will be found. So whatever is difficult to discuss morning, afternoon, leave it for the evening, nightfall to discuss it then because it will be better received and you will be able to be ingenious and be very creative in finding solutions as well, which you are not able to do morning, afternoon, okay? The seventh Monday, and that's not good in the morning, afternoon period. You can have people who really don't like you, but they'll have a smile on their face when they look at you. So be careful of sneaky people like that at your place of work or in business or in any, anywhere else. Drive very carefully, accidents are very possible. By the time you leave home, don't bring up issues that are going to upset anybody. And when you reach your place of work or in business, tell yourself that bad news can come in the sense that something treacherous or something deceptive is waiting to happen. So you've got to get your own facts and figures. You cannot depend on news from other people. So be very careful what you say, be very careful what you do wherever you are and drive carefully as well, accidents can be seen. Evening nightfall turns wonderful for you, how the day can change. You'll find all the solutions that you couldn't find. You'll find everybody so agreeable who earlier part of the day couldn't be agreeable with you. You'll find the romance becoming the possibility where earlier you were denied it. And so evening nightfall is when you want to be in a situation to find solutions, find make very good contacts, and you will, because business planets are also there in the evening nightfall period. So mix business and pleasure. You'll have a wonderful evening nightfall and get all the solutions where the earlier part of the day you were quite miserable. The eighth Tuesday starts very well for you. Planets are very steady and slow and that's good because they are long-term planets. These planets are developing something for you long-term wise. Be patient. And these good planets are also giving you plenty of energy. They allow you to make use of all the knowledge you have. They give you these opportunities. So contact people, negotiate with people, go onto the internet and meet people there and communicate in every way that you can. And if you are at your place of work, work with people in a way where you don't show impatience and things will develop and you'll get a definitely a good advantage by the time the morning and afternoon is over. Evening nightfall I don't like. Things are going to go very wrong. Could be the same people you work with, could be the same people you do business with, but then everything goes wrong in evening nightfall session. Or could be the new group of people you're going to be with. Be careful you don't drink too much. Disappointments are waiting, so you might want to drink too much. Drive very carefully, a accidents are possible. Disappointments are waiting to happen evening nightfall period. So if you don't have to be out and about, don't. You can avoid all these disappointments that way because you are in charge. What I'm reading is a plan. A plan is called a horoscope. And you can change everything around because you know it in advance already. So if you don't have to be out on this horrible evening nightfall period, just stay back home. Because somebody is going to annoy you. Somebody is going to make things go wrong. Could be you. Well, it's up to you. If I were you, I would just lessen my exposure to risk on this not good evening nightfall period of the 8th Tuesday. Let's go to the 9th Wednesday. And uh, 
Aggressive planets are there, they're not against you, but they make you aggressive, make you blunt in speech and your actions are provocative and you will be a person who will be over-determined to get things done. And when you're over-determined, you don't care what you do, what you say, you just reach out and grab what you want. And of course, others don't like it if they also want that, so you create competition. So take the soft approach, be polite and just take it easy, show appreciation, show support for everybody around you and I tell you, you will get what you want that way. This take the soft approach is my favorite, always talk to you about it and it works. I get feedback and how well people are doing in all areas of your life just by these words. So take the soft approach on this morning, afternoon period, you'll get away with what you want. Evening nightfall for you is really horrible. I wouldn't be out if I were you because accidents, any kind of accidents, verbal, emotional, physical, and you can be cheated or you'll have to pay money which you don't want to pay. And you can be let down, you can be disappointed. Double check all your plans because all this can happen. And the worst of all is that you can meet people who are not totally on your side and you can be deceived that way as well. Just go back home after work stay away from this kind of trouble but if plans already made you have to be there keep your eyes open listen and listen carefully what people say don't fall into any traps of any kind and drive back early because accidents are very very possible in this evening nightfall period especially if you drink too much let's go to thursday and for you coming from virgo the thursday is not too good you have it basically basically is conflict is your ego against other people's ego. And what you say, you will be, others will retaliate. And what others say, you will retaliate. The best is to just appreciate what is being done with you and be the follower. Be part of a team all the time. Don't want to stand out. And tell yourself you can be isolated by showing arrogance and your deadlines and your support may not be there. So be the nicest person on earth and you'll be able to get good enough things done in the morning, afternoon, whether in business, whether in job. If you're having lunch with people, the last thing you want to show is arrogance as well. Evening nightfall I like very much. One of your best, two of your best planets are there. And one of them is very slow and steady and I like that because they develop things for you very nicely. So be patient and you will get what you want in the evening nightfall period whether for business areas, job areas, to talk with people for a new job, whether in finding new romance or being out with the people you love, you will just do things very nicely in a slow, steady way and it will develop exactly as you want it as well. This planet of arrogance would like to be there as well in the evening and he will be there. So make sure once in a while don't get into this arrogant streak. The 11th Friday, too much water is a working day. Too much water means you cannot focus, there's emotional things on your mind and whatever you say and do people don't like very much. And to make it worse, you can be a person who daydreaming and then in business or in job wise you can miss the boat. So focus on what you have to be. Repeat these three words to yourself, logic, facts and figures. Every time you're going into a daydream kind of a state or emotional issues like that, logic, facts and figures. And that will bring you back to reality and tell you you've got deadlines at your place of work. You have to do things in your business area as well. It's a working day. Evening nightfall, now aggressive planets come in. So in the morning, afternoon, all these water planets make you all the dreamy wise. And evening time, you become overdetermined. So it's a day of extremes, basically. Evening time, when you should be soft, you get the aggressive planets. Well, these aggressive planets in the evening nightfall can make you very blunt, step on toes, be over-determined to get what you want, be aggressive in what you want. That's the wrong way to do it because this is exactly what these planets want you to do. And they'll bring opposition, they'll bring confrontation, they will create provocation. So back again to my favorite few words, take the soft approach, be the politest person and nobody will ever want to go against you. Try that technique and you'll get what you want in the evening nightfall period. The 12th Saturday, 
Well, that's a very good morning, afternoon period for you. You are going to be very happy with whoever you are. And if you are working, you are going to do extremely well. And if you are doing business, be out with the people you do business with. Play a round of golf with them. You are going to meet very powerful people who can help you. And you can go on to the internet and you can meet some very powerful people there. Make very good contacts there as well. It's a, it's a time for globalness, so why not get also make contacts that way? Your ideas are waiting to be heard, your thoughts are waiting to be heard and you will be able to take command of things. Very good start in the morning, afternoon period. It's a Saturday and if you are just going to have fun, you will have that fun. Only little thing is one of these planets can make you feel a bit dominating. You will do it for the good reasons of course, but still try not to be dominating and you'll get a better deal in the morning, afternoon period. Evening nightfall, the arrogance planets are there waiting for you and they want to make you feel super uh, in demand, in the limelight, make you feel important. They do it for a good reason. But then what happens is that others, somebody else may be there like that as well. That's what will, call, that's what will cause the clash. So you might as well take the soft approach and let others take control and be the follower and you'll be doing going good enough because one of these planets is the planet of blame so something you say and do may cause the blame so if you're part of a team and let others make the plans nobody can ever blame you in the evening nightfall period and you'll enjoy yourself much much better okay well that's the week for you i'm already skyping and i'm charging usd 550 for a 90 minute skype session and during this 90 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about your next 7, 8 or 9 years in all areas of your life. And I will do that because I'll have your date of birth and your time of birth and I would have seen your palms. You would have sent me photos of them on email. They're very sharp that way. And I would also be face reading you while we Skype. And with all that information, I'll get you really on top of your next 7, 8 or 9 years in any area of your life. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email and let's get down to it and it will only cost you USD 550. Until then, thank you and good luck.